guys, we need joint efforts to answer the main question of our current project. How do moth ears deal with bad echolocation calls? Any ideas? From an ecological point of view, we should look for bad with different echolocation strategies. Bad with content frequency calls and bad with a more plastic echolocation repertoire. If we look at the tympanic nerve response, we will have an idea of what the moth brain is paying attention at. The tympanic vibration can help us to find out which call parameters are filtered at the ear mechanics level. Having processed the tympanic vibration pattern, we found maximum deflections at the stigma, the point of insertion of the mechanosensitive dendrites. Still, this result is new in showing deflections also outside of the stigma. In conclusion, for neurophysiology, we can state that the auditory neuron response is dramatically affected by the frequency of the collocation call. A small change from 34 to 40 kHz significantly increased the threshold of the auditory response. Both ear mechanics and neurophysiology have been addressed using content intensity echolocation calls, but our field studies show intensity compensation when bats approach target. So it is open how would the neuronal or mechanic response vary with calls of decreasing intensity. Well, some partial conclusions. So finally, what we have is just a few partial conclusions and many new open questions. The good news, we have a long way in front of us as many questions to solve working as a team.